welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional logic in WP Forms. Conditional logic allows you to create rules that will change how your form behaves depending on a user's input. This could mean anything from showing or hiding certain fields, depending on what a user selects or writes in in a certain field. With that said, let's get right to it. After installing and activating the WP Forms plugin, let's go straight into the form builder and get started with a simple contact form as an example. The most basic use of conditional logic is to either show or hide a field in your form depending on a user's selection. So let's practice with the following example. I'm going to add a multiple choice field asking users how they heard about my site. One of the choices will be other, and if the user selects it, I want a text box to appear where they can write in the answer themselves. So first I'm going to add my multiple choice field and update the label and choice options. Next, I'm going to add in a single line text field where I want the user to write in their answer if they select the other option in the multiple choice field. Click on the single line text field and click on the Smart Logic tab. You'll see a toggle called Enable Conditional Logic, so click on it to open the Conditional Logic settings. Now that Conditional Logic has been enabled, you'll see a few drop down fields where you can set up conditions for your rule. First, you need to decide if you want to show or hide the single line text field. In the following dropdown, you're going to select the form field that this logic will depend on. Basically, you're going to select which field in your form a user needs to interact with to trigger this rule. The middle dropdown will allow you to choose a comparison, so you'll be able to make choices like show or hide the single line text field if the multiple choice field is, is not, if the text field is empty or not empty, if it contains or does not contain something, and so on. Finally, you'll choose what the fields will contain in order for this condition to apply. In other words, and in our particular case, what choice does a user need to select in the multiple choice field to trigger the single line text field to appear? In our case, we're going to select the other option. That way, when they click on it, the single line text field will appear and they can write in their answer. This is an example of basic conditional logic and is probably what you're going to be working with most of the time. However, there may be times where you'll want or need to create complex conditional logic rules, so let's move on to a more complicated example. I'm creating a contact form where a user can specify what type of business they own via a drop-down field. Let's say that we want a checkbox field to appear where the users can opt into our newsletter, but we only want this to appear if a user does two things. They write in an email address in the email address field, and they select retail in the business type dropdown. So to start off, we're going to add in a checkbox field and update the field label and the choice label. We're then going to click on the Smart Logic tab and enable conditional logic. The first rule we're going to create is show this checkbox field if business type is retail. But as I mentioned before, the user needs to fulfill two conditions, so we need to add an additional rule. To do this, click on the AND button. A new line of drop-down fields will appear where you can set up a new condition just as before, so let's do that. For a second condition, select email in the first drop-down, and in the second drop-down, we're going to select the not empty option. So our overall conditional logic for this field reads as follows. Show the newsletter checkbox field if business type drop-down is retail and if email field is not empty. You can also create a condition where a field will be shown or hidden if a user meets one condition or another, so let's move on to our final example. Let's say we want to ask users if they'd like to leave a review for our business or product, but we only want this question to appear if they give either a 4 or 5 star rating. So I've added a rating field, and I've also added a multiple choice field and updated the labels accordingly. Click on the multiple choice field, go to the Smart Logic tab again, and enable conditional logic. For the first condition, we're going to say, show this field if rating is, and write in the number four. But remember, we want this field to appear if a user gives a rating of either four or five. So click on the add new group button and create another condition. Show this field if rating is five. Now our complete conditional logic reads, Show this multiple choice field if the rating field is 4 or 5. 
Once you finish setting up your conditional logic, save your changes and go ahead and preview your form to test it out. And as you can see, the conditional logic we set up in all three of our examples is working just as it should. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up and use conditional logic in WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.